Now joining us is the man who is leading the PJ Tour America's Fortnite Cup standings, Canadian Matthew Anderson. What's going on, man? Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Super, super excited to be here. So, yeah, let's let's talk about your prep for this week. You've been out to the golf course how many times now? I was out Friday uh, with no one here. I was out uh, Sunday when I got on site and uh, last couple days, Monday, Tuesday, okay. just like nine, nine every day. So what do you think? I love it. I love the changes. Um, they did a lot with the the bunkers. They redid a lot of the bunkers. They redid all of them, mm -hmm. added bunkers, um, added some fescue in there, like made it more US Open style, yep. um, changed, they redid all the greens. Um, and they just, yeah, the, it used to be kind of more like back to front, just more consistent slopes. And now they've just done a lot to, you know, it's just like very like r ridges and fall offs. Mm -hmm. And there's just a lot more going on. So. It's good. Yeah, and, I, and I'm to, re really enjoying it. And to give some context, uh, Miss Hog was home. Yes. Um, so you have familiarity with property. I was speaking to a lot of the players on Monday, and they're like, I said, you know, so what do you think about the changes? And we like them. And I said, well, how many times did you play the original? They, they had very little experience, if any. Uh, some of them weren't here in 2019. Some yeah. of them obviously don't live down the road. So you would be one of the best players in this field to really give a description of what this place used to be like and what it is now. I'm curious, has anybody come up to you and said, hey, uh, give, me a little, uh, give me a little insight of what's going on here? Not really. I mean, obviously I did play in 2019. Um, so I do have a little experience playing the old design, but um, honestly, just I, I played here, I guess, as a junior mm -hmm. a couple of times. That was going to be my next question. Right, but I mean, it's not like I've, you know, been here every year and, you know, practicing out here a bunch. Like, it's not really like that. I've played here a few times in my life, um, and including, obviously, the, the 19 Open, so. Am I incorrect in understanding that this year, 2024, will be your full, first full calendar year as a professional golfer? That's correct, yes. Wow. What does it feel like to get success so early? Great. <laughs> <laughs> so, so great. Um, no, I mean, it's it's been awesome. Um, you know, obviously, I, I expected myself to do well early. Like, I knew I had the talent in the game, um, but it's different than to actually go out and do it um, and, you know, to see that reality take shape. So it's been it's been great for sure. And uh, last week, Matt, we were at uh, an event with Golf Canada and we've got some sort of jet flying over us here, which is quite loud. I, I can't even hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even hear you. Uh, you. I think Bob's arrived. Yeah, there he is. I think yeah. Bob, Weeksy. Bob's Weeksy here. has arrived. A anyway, uh, we were talking last week at, at a Golf Canada event, and you were telling Weeksy and I actually about how you worked on your putting stroke throughout the winter in your basement, and that's been a huge, maybe part of the reason you've had a lot of success this season yeah, on PGA Tour America? Yeah, I, I, I was looking at, uh, I'll shout out Etienne Papineau here. Yeah. Um, I was looking at his stats last year um, compared to mine, and I, I just saw the main difference was, like, it was a shot-ish putting. Wow. I, I can't remember exactly what it was per round. Wow. So I was like, okay. If I just go and continue to make that better and get that putting, I mean, yes, a shot per round at this level is a lot. I was like, okay, one shot better putting per round, and then I'll just corn fairy tour, like, easy, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> easy. <laughs> right. It's, it's, not, easy. It. it's not oh, that well. easy, but, um, no, I over the winter, I did, I did a lot. I did um, just, like, start line stuff, like, short putting. It was mostly inside 15 feet, so you know, set up, getting it, like, getting it square, get it, you know, setting up square consistently, you know, stroke stuff. Um, and a lot of it literally over the winter while I was home for a month was literally just in my basement, like, reps, 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 like, with my dad, like, watching hockey in the basement, like, <laughs> just rep. And, and it honestly, I, yeah, it obviously, like, it, it did pay off because I was, I was 0.8 shots per round better in the first six events uh, of wow. the last, yeah, so, uh, compared to last summer. So that was the biggest difference. And then you add in some short game, hitting the I, Obviously, I'm a good ball striker. Add in some short game and a, a ball striking a bit better, and then you kind of get some good golf. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I find this amazing because, Adam, I have this conversation with so many of, you know, friends, family, people we would play with on the regular, you know, who are 12 handicaps, 18 handicaps. And I try to express to them to what you're saying. I mean, every putt at the end of the day, if you break it down, is a straight pot starting in like a six inch thing because you're you're starting it to us this point to the your starting line is is straight so i love hearing this it is like you kind of make your workstation smaller and get more focused on proper setup mm -hmm. starting it on the line 
it can be distracting this game working on this big giant canvas of 7,500 yards and, and this. And it's amazing to hear, you know, one of the better, best players in the world coming to play our national champion, coming off a win and saying, actually, it's the work I did here. And that's amazing because we're also fixated with speed and power in this game these yes. days too. And you're telling me, no, 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 I did this much work here religiously over the winter, and now I'm a winner. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, I think, yes, a lot of people, they look at, you know, the, the big hitters in the game and they're like, you know, we, you just you want to do that, and that's such an advantage. But I think the the level that, like, us, you know, down in, like, the lower tours, getting to the PGA Tour, it's all short game and putting. I would say most guys can hit it good and hit it far. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot of short game and putting. Um, and I kind of uh, – Derek Ingram, like, the head yep. coach of the yeah, national team. Of course, team, we know Derek. He, like, broke down putting to me. I, I, can't, I can't list off the, the – details right now live obviously but <laughs> we, like we, we, yeah, we have yeah, another but, hour yeah, but, right, but there's yeah. like but there's like there's six aspects of putting and and he broke it down for me um you know you got like your your setup and your your start line your speed and there's 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 whatever so you can work on those things individually if you find that certain things are poor right it's not like you oh you just go work on putting it's like you right. can kind of break that down and like kind of figure out where exactly you need to be better. Working smarter, not mm -hmm. harder yeah. necessarily. 100%. Should we talk a little bit about what's in the bag, Skulls? 100%. I think so. I, we, if you're watching us on TSN, you notice that TaylorMade logo on your hat. Yes. We are also members of Team TaylorMade. So tell us about what's in the bag. You and I should go on the record. We are defending member guest champions, but we have not won a national open and, like you have this year. And we Brazil, never talked so about that on the air yeah. at all. But yeah. tell us about what's, <laughs> what's in the bag for you. <laughs> Yeah, obviously um, made the switch to TaylorMade in uh, in January. Right. Um, I've been super pleased with everything in my bag. Um, I love that driver. Oh. It is. Which one did you go with? I have the QI10 LS. Nice. The LS. Okay. Um, I believe it's at uh, it's at nine and a half down mm -hmm. a notch. So mm -hmm. whatever that is, yep. it's eight seven five. Yep. Um, but uh, yeah, that's been great for me. Um, picking up a couple yards. The ball. I'm, oh. I I was I I was a little bit you know not sure in the beginning but um i was trying the tp5 and the, and the tp5x um and the tp5 was spinning so much for me it would just come out so low and just but the the x was just nice flight like you know stopping power was great um that's been that's been awesome it performs well in the wind um it's it, it's very strong i noticed mm. it's, it's a very strong flying ball um and yeah just uh p7 mc irons nice. i got a i got a five i got a five wood and three wood like same shaft i'll just rotate heads mm. for like a little bit of distance based on what course i'm playing right two and three iron so like the th the three wood five wood two iron three iron two of the four of those will be in the bag at any given time just for like what course i'm playing and like managing kind of off the it's mostly off the tee yeah um so that's kind of the top of the bag and then uh yeah p7 mcs and uh some MG4s. Because of the undulation changes here and some of the soft conditions, are we going to go with a higher uh, a bag setup that in influences a higher flight versus a lower flight this week? Uh, yes. I don't need this. So, this, yeah, the strong three wood is where I need it off the tee a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I have a slightly strong five wood to kind of – it's a good gapping distance. So I have this week I have, I'm have i going to have driver five wood three iron. Mm. Um, it's good gapping. And then off the tee, like the five wood's kind of a good number off a couple holes. And – Obviously, yes, you mentioned the ball's not rolling a lot this week. So, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah it obviously gives me some extra height if I need it in, you know, off a tee or um, into a par five, say so. And, and the golf ball specifically, you know, every a lot of people are talking about whether you're a professional golfer or an average Joe like Mark and I, it's half a club longer with a TP5X. Are you seeing similar yardage gains? I would say maybe not half a club. I'd say definitely a few yards. Which is huge. I, yeah. That's huge with the golf sure. ball alone. With the golf ball alone, I think – uh, it's. I think it's one. I noticed one to two miles an hour on uh, a driver, of of, of ball speed, which is like just in, in a ball yeah. these days of everything being so close is um, is cool to see mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Well, you mentioned it too. You were here five years ago playing in this tournament. How different of a player are you, and how different of a person are you, both on and off the golf course since then? Uh, five years, it's it's been a while. I think my, my game's matured immensely. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, we talked about my short game. Um, my short game's much better, obviously, much more well-rounded. Um, my ball striking's only gotten better. I just feel like I'm a lot more mature mentally now. Um, you know, having been successful in college, been successful now early on in my professional career, um, I just feel so much more prepared, like, mentally to 
go out and play a tournament like this, play a golf course like this, um, you know, just how to handle myself, you know, handle nerves, yeah. if, you know, and, and just kind of go out there and enjoy it. So um, incredibly different. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to ask you what I asked uh, Miles uh, Creighton and uh, Stuart McDonald on Monday. We were chatting a little and they've, you know, they've played golf all over the world. Miles was on PGA Tour China at one point yeah. back when there was a PGA Tour China. You're playing right now on PGA Tour Americas. You've been in the Latin swing and then there's going to be an American and then in a Canadian swing. They thought that, you know, all the different cultures, the different places in the world, the different grasses, learning to be a professional on the road is going to make them stronger in the future. Are you looking at your experience in South America the same way? 100%. I heard that, I, I heard that from Miles um, last year at some point. Like, going out and going and being uncomfortable mm -hmm. does wonders for your professional golf game. Um, you know, going down there... You know, I was traveling with um, my friend Johnny Trevally. Yep. Um, it was kind of us for those, you know, those six events. And uh, just, yeah, like there's so much, the grasses, like I saw, you know, three or four different grasses, the altitude, I've never played at 9,000 feet right. before. <laughs> like seeing the ball just absolutely 200 go. 200-yard wedges. Right? Go forever. Yeah. Like yeah. you catch a flyer downwind in the rough and you have a pitching, like, yeah. 200 yard, whatever, 200-yard pitching wedge. Like <laughs> just, just um, yeah, stuff like that where like I don't get that experience here. Um, and that'll only make me better. Being able to like adapt, you know, and learn um, is only going to make me better. So, obviously, um, going down there, like, yes, you have to learn, you know, traveling and where to eat and where to stay and things like that. But you know, once you handle that and kind of handle the golf, you know, get on the golf course, it seems very comfortable for me. Um, but definitely going down there, like, I'm definitely way more prepared for. And it makes me grateful to come up here again. Yeah, I can imagine. Home, right? Yep. So, yep. yeah. And, and the Canadian swing coming up soon on PJ Tour Americas. Now, as we wrap, we're about 27 hours from your first tee time in the first round of the RBC Canadian Open. What's it going to look like for you between now and when you tee off at 2.12 tomorrow afternoon? Well, when I get done here, I'll do some short game, have some lunch. Um, I'll do some more practice afternoon because I'm not, not playing in the pro -am today. Right. So, um, obviously short game putting practice, I'll do some, do some random shots on the range, kind of look at my yards book and kind of, you know, try and, um, replicate, you know, mm -hmm. some shots out mm -hmm. there and mm -hmm. do that kind of thing. And just a light gym and uh, massage later on today. That. So that'll be, that'll be, that will be lovely. Yeah. Um, tomorrow I'll just kind of take it pretty light breakfast in the morning. Maybe do kind of a little activation with the body and get around here for, you know, 11, 12 lunchtime and take take myself into the into the warm-up so that's awesome that's man. well, well yeah. hey we appreciate you taking some time as you prepare for the rbc canadian open all the best this week and all the best the rest of the season on pga tour americas as i like to say whenever guys win on pga tour americas we have them on our show right after we've already had you on our show after a win so why don't you say you come on again after another win oh, for the hat trick season. on golf Go for the hat trick. I, like I love it what do you <laughs> i think? love Good it luck, man. Awesome, thank man. you thank Thanks, you guys man. really appreciate, appreciate it, it.